Uh, hi everyone. So this is the uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time update. Um, so uh, I'm under the race committee tent right now. If anyone would like to come by, uh, come by and say hello, I'll be here for probably another uh, hour or two, something like that, doing some work. But but love to say hello to anyone. This picture is worth a thousand words, right? So this is in Grand Traverse Bay. This picture was taken by Matt Gallagher uh, on the race to make race to Mac committee, and uh, it's a couple hours old now. But it's a absolute sheet of glass, as you can see in Grand Traverse Bay and um, it, it's not that bad all over the race course right now but it is pretty bad in a bunch of places on the race course and unfortunately uh, tonight's not looking great so let's uh, jump into some other uh, information I've got ready for you guys um, tracking so you know the good news is that we've got a couple of boats to finish um, they've been sort of been picking off I'd say we're probably about 25 we'll look at that in a second boats that have finished so far we've got a fair number of boats in the straits right now let me just sort of zoom into the straits so we can get a good picture of this right and the boats that are in the straits are doing four knots you know i'm not sure i believe these six knots there's not that much wind here but four knots uh they're kind of coming along through the straits we've got occasional ones that look a little better um split decision actually with drew so that seven knots is um is their motor uh, that's the old iron jenny as we say um the thing is when we look a little bit farther down the race course we've got two big sort of blobs of boats here and they are in as far as we can tell very little to no wind so there's 2.1 boat speed, 3.8. This is actually better than a couple of hours ago. 3.3, right, 1.3. Go back here, one knot for fire escape. That's a Tartan 33. This blob of boats equally. Boy, they're just got to be sitting on top of each other right now if we could really be there, right? 0.9 knots, 0.8, 1.3. A lot of boats going incredibly slow through the Manitous and <clears throat> sort of here east of Fox Island. If we go out to the people on the Great Circle route, right, so here's Painkiller 4 going 8.2 knots. Here's good old Sociable going 6.9 knots. Let's, I haven't looked at this yet, but let's look at how the Great Circle route guys are doing, right? So let's look at uh, Benetou 40.7 because we've been following this, right? So this is technically still your leader here going 4.6 knots and Spanker, right? Um, they have 37 miles to go. Up here we've got Broderi going 5.7 knots, so a little bit faster, and they have 46 miles to go. We got Social going 6.9 knots with 50 miles to go. So, you know, I, I, there's a lot of racing. I keep saying there's a lot of racing left here, and these guys are going faster, probably in more pressure than these guys right here. But once we get to about right here, they're going to be in the same wind, and then it's a boat for boat race. So, it's been exciting to watch, um, and there's a lot of racing left. Okay, uh, let's just. Real quick show everyone, I know people are getting interested in the race results. If you go to the home page and click on results, I'm sorry, hold on. I click on results, we get a pop out to the right here. If you want to see who's between the bridge and the finish line, that's this first group right here, right? And then if you want to see the people who have already finished, that's down here. And that is in um, earliest starter at the bottom to most recent starter at the top. And then if you I'll go back to the race here and I'll do my same drop down menu. And I'll do results by division. And we can see all of our finishers um, so far. Again, um, these are sorted by corrected time. So this has a handicap in place. Uh, we can see uh, the trophy fleet. We've got maybe, I don't know, 20 boats finished there. Five or six in the cruising fleet and one in the multi hull fleet right now. But these are all obviously very preliminary with so many boats out on the course. So that's a way to look at results. Uh, you can also look at them by section, which was the other drop down menu that I didn't show you. Last thing I want to cover, and I hate to end on a down note, uh, but I'm going to, is the wind forecast. You know, we've got, again, the models handling this current situation very, very, very well. There definitely is a little bit more breeze here in the Straits. Um, there's definitely a little less breeze down here in Grand Traverse Bay and the Manitous. In fact, if anything, it's overstated right there. Let's just watch the evolution. So this is uh, 1 o'clock Central, 2 o'clock Eastern. A little more breeze maybe down our fleet. Nice breeze in the Straits. That's great. 3 o'clock, let's keep fast forwarding. Wind's starting to die in Grand Traverse Bay. 5 o'clock, watch the thermal begins to die now at 7. Right, people are going to be sort of Grand Traverse Bay, Gray's Reef area. Now we start to get this light spot here, right? This big high pressure sort of filling from Lake Superior kind of bridging its way down to this area of high pressure that's over mainland Michigan. And watch what happens now starting at 9. At 10, our wind dies over the Gray's Reef in the straight area. 11, 12, 1, ouch, 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 2, ouch. And we start to get a little bit of breeze finally at 3 in the morning, except you note, know, if this is accurate, it's still dead calm here. It's 5 o'clock local time in the, in the Straits. 
And then the breeze, the gradient begins to fill. And we got okay sailing breeze to hopefully bring our whole fleet home by sometime tomorrow, midday-ish. Gosh, I hope so. So that really depends on just how bleak it gets overnight and how bleak it stays today um, and how much progress the racing fleet can make today. But it, it is an epically slow race. So we still have some things to watch left to right. We've got a lot of boats still out on the course and when and where the wind fills uh, is going to be important. Um, that's the race situation. And as always, please keep the comments and questions coming on Facebook. And again, I'm under the racing tent from till about, I don't know, 3 o'clock, let's say. Um, Michigan time and uh, come by and say hello. Thanks. Bye.